Let's take a look at some formatting options in Google Docs. So I have pulled a piece of text from Wikipedia about tigers. So let's just look at some of the different formatting options across the toolbar at the top. So I've got a title here. I'm going to highlight it. Let's take a look here. We can actually change the style of titles and headers. So I can just choose title. It's going to make it larger. I've also got some heading sizes and things like that. If you wanted to keep formatting consistent, if you had different um, headings here, then you could easily highlight and change the style of all those different headings to make sure that you had them the right size. As we move over, we've got our fonts. So you can choose what font you might want to use and you can change those fonts. There are tons of different fonts in Google Docs and if you don't have one that you want, you can always click on more fonts and you can add other fonts. So anything that is checked and highlighted in blue are already added to my fonts. But if I see something else that I like that I wanna add, I can always click on that and add it in and it will become one of the options when I'm in Google Docs. Beside that, we have size. So I can change the size. I can hit the plus or minus button to change the size. I can click here and get a drop down menu. Or if I sometimes need something in between, I can simply type it in to change the size. Next to that, we could bold, italicize, or underline any of the text. You can change the text color to make it be whatever color that you would like. You can also highlight the text so that it would be highlighted and you can choose the color that you would like to highlight. You can also insert links. So if I want to go back up to Wikipedia where I got that information and I'm going to pull up my page about tigers. So if I wanted to um, link an outside source, I could type some text, highlight that, click on this link button. I could link anything that's in my Google Drive or I could always copy I'm using Control C and paste Control V that link in there. Now it turns blue and it's underlined and if I click on it, I can actually go out to that link. So you can link documents that way. You can add comments. We'll talk about that more in another video. You can insert images. We'll also talk about that in another video. You can align. You can choose whether to be left aligned, center aligned. Let's do our title so you can see it a little bigger. Um, so I can left align, center align, right align, or have it justified. You can also do spacing. So you can change it to single space, double space, whatever you might want. You can add in a checklist. So you could put in a checklist of things. And then as you do those things, you can check them off. You can bullet, you can number, you can choose to increase or decrease the indent of things. And then if you want to completely clear out the formatting, you can always hit here and you'll clear out all the formatting and go back to where you were. You can also see options for formatting here under format. You'll see all those options that I just went over, plus a few more like page orientation and inserting page numbers. So those are just the main things that you can do as far as formatting in a Google Doc.